Hey guys, Tanning Gamer 4 k here. We got more content for Battlefront. The Beastman DLC released this week, and I must say the Cloud City is beautiful. Coming along for the ride to Cloud City are two new heroes, Lando and Dengar. Lando comes equipped with three abilities, Power Blast, which is a critical modifier for his blaster pistol, Shocking Trap, which is a cool little decoy trap that is thrown on the ground to confuse enemies, as well as shock anyone that gets closed. His final ability is System Disruption, which disrupts all nearby enemies, weapons, and star cards. This will also affect hero abilities, so this adds a lot to Lando in a 1v1 against other heroes. Dengar is a galaxy-renowned bounty hunter. He also comes with three abilities, first being Explosive Rush, which allows him to run forward towards a group of enemies and throw grenades to all enemies he passes. Next ability is Frenzy Blast, which will greatly increase his primary weapon's rate of fire. And finally we have Hurricane Strike, which is a great melee sweep attack while running to forward towards enemies. In addition to the new heroes, we received a new game mode, which is Sabotage. The story behind this is the Empire are using gas generators to power their tractor beams, preventing rebel transports from escaping Cloud City. As the rebels, you must blow up the generators and defend the extraction point. The Empire, however, must stop the rebels and hunt them down. Some of the other additions they've included are eight new hut co contracts, the new neutral vehicle cloud car, as well as increasing ranks up to 70 from 60 as it was before. A few other cool items that we got was a X8 Night Sniper. This is a blaster pistol with a focus on long range with a night vision scope. So it's a sniper pistol. A pistol that's a sniper. That just seems a bit odd to me. We also got the EE4. This is a spread burst type weapon. Think futuristic shotgun. Very high damage in short to medium ranges, but it starts to fall off the longer away you get. In addition to weapons, we got three new star cards. The Shot Grenade, which is a non-lethal grenade with a small radius that stuns enemies, much like Lando's ability. The next card up is Scout Binoculars. They will outline enemy soldiers when zooming through the goggles. After pressing the fire button, any soldier in that player's line of sight gets a red outline around them for the whole team for around four to five seconds. Lastly, we got the Disruption card. This will instantly overheat the weapons of any soldier in close proximity. This will be very good when going up against other players because you can temporarily disable their entire offense outside of their star cards. For full patch notes from the always awesome Sledgehammer, the community manager for Battlefront, head over to the link in the description. Also, for all your Battlefront or Star Wars news and gameplay, head over to Battlefront Update's YouTube channel. He produces a ton of awesome content on Star Wars and the movies, games, really anything Star Wars related. That man is on top of it. Well, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you hated it more than I hate cucumbers, hit that thumbs down. I'll see all you guys and gals in the next one. Thanks again for all the support. I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, Tanning Gamer 4 k here. Today I wanted to take a look at two of the new weapons introduced with Day of Infamy Standalone. The first being the Carabine 98K Rifle Grenade Launcher, available to the Engineer class on the German Nazi side. This is something that will be very familiar for people who played a lot of World War II first person shooters. It's been in every one that I can remember and it's extremely fun to use. The grenade fired is a lot like a normal grenade thrown, except